Hey, this is a polymer clay cane headband tutorial by Kataka Creations. So in my last tutorial, we made these beautiful beads. So we've got lots of cane beads here. So how many do you need? Well, this is one set of beads and we need seven sets. Now, if you notice, there are three of each kind of bead per set. And there's also this special bead right here, which is a three in one connector bead. So let me teach you how to make this 3-in-1 connector bead. So before you bake all your beads, grab your, grab three different single beads with holes already in them, like so. Then what we're going to do is we're going to grab the top of the bead and texturize it. with your scalpel, or craft knife rather. So I'm doing this on one bead, and I'm also going to do it on the bead I'm joining this to. So the reason I'm doing this is, well, think of a strip of Velcro, how it sticks well because of the roughness of it. So once I've done both, I'm just going to grab the two ends that I scraped and join them together simply like this. It makes a good fit and they're very good. Um, they stick well. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Continuing, we're going to add the third bead to this connect. Creating our three beads in one connector bead. So we need eight of these for seven sets and one for the end. Once you've got all your beads, including the three in one joiners, bake them and don't forget to put the holes in. So what do you need for the beading stage? Well, you need tiger tail wire, two rings, crimp beads, and black elastic. So that's black elastic, crimp beads, two rings, and tag wire. Now this, my friends, is a beading diagram as to how we're going to do things. And I know it's a little bit unclear, but, well, this is a set here, which equals that set there. Those are two crimp beads. In my video, I only show one, but that's an accident. This is where we start, the tiger tail starts. The red thing is the tiger tail. That's another crimp bead there to secure the end of the tiger tail. So watch this little demo here. Imagine my cursor is the wire. So my wire goes through the beads, that goes through a crimp bead, goes through these beads, connector bead, goes through two crimp beads at the end, loops around the ring, goes through the two crimp beads again, and then starts to go through the whole first row to make a whole first row. When I get to the end, I go through the last connector bead, number 8, then I go through a crimp bead, then I go make a loop around the ring, through back through the crimp beads, then through the second hole of the connector bead, then going all the way through to make my second row. Then when I get to the very end, I go through the second hole of the last connector bead, go through the two crimp beads, make another loop, go through the two crimp beads, and then go through the third hole to make my third row. Then when I get to the end, I go through the last hole in the last connector bead, then I go through the two crimp beads, make a final loop around the ring, back through the two crimp beads, back through the last roll, and there is a crimp bead that you must go through. And then I go through and it's nice and secure. So that's the ending of my tiger tail wire. And that up there is the start of where my tiger tail wire is. So the amount of tiger tail you need, just wrap tiger tail around your head four times and that's enough to last you for this as well as some excess. Now let me show you with the real beads. So I go through the ring, put a crimp bead through, and please put two crimp beads. Throughout this video, I'm going to remind you because 
I accidentally put one. Two crimps. Two crimps. Remember, guys. Two crimps. So I make a loop around my ring, then thread it back through the crimp bead. So at this point you should have a loop around your ring and the crimp bead having two, two wires through it. Which is actually the same wire, but you get what I mean. Then I'm going to start threading on my connector bead followed by the first row of the first set. So I've done the whole first row. Now I'm going to get the other end of my tiger tail wire. Actually first I'm going to tighten the beads up by pulling on the wire. Then I'm going to get the end of my tiger tail wire and thread it through the first row of my first set. As seen right here. So now the first row of the first set will have two tiger tail wires within the beads. Now I almost forgot, but here we go. I'm just going to slide off the last three beads. Oops, I mean, it should look like this first. Now I'm going to slide off the last three beads. Right there. Because I forgot to put a crimp bead in. Now you'll only need one crimp bead for this section. This is to secure the end of the tiger tail wire. So I'm putting that through as you can see. Then I'm going ahead and crimping it down. Sorry about the bad quality of this video by the way. Now I'm cutting off the excess. And putting the three beads back on. That finishes my first row with a crimp bead in between. Now I'm going to go ahead and thread my whole first row of the entire headband. So I've gone ahead and done this with my seven sets plus an extra eighth connector bead on the end. Now just like the beginning, I'm going to put a crimp bead, or in your case, two crimp beads for extra security. If you forget the two, it's okay. Then I'm going to make a loop-de-loop. -loop. So basically I just went through a crimp bead and a ring. I mean two crimp beads and a ring. And I'm now going to loop around the ring and thread back my wire through the two wink-wink crimp beads. And then I'm going to thread this wire through the second part of my connector bead. And this is when I can now start my second row. That's what it should look like right now. So I've got to the other end back where I started. 
I've got a whole headband full of two rows and connector beads. Now I'm just going to take my wire, thread it through the crimp beads, in your case two crimp beads, make a loop-de-loop -loop around my ring, like so, then go back through the two wink -a wink crimp beads and through the third section of the connector bead and this is basically what you should have by now two loops around the ring and go through the third connector bead to, re to reach the final row now when I get to the end, as in here the other end I'm going to put a crimp bead right here then I'm going to thread my last few beads then thread it through the very last hole of my very last connector bead then I'm going to thread it through the final crimps that's two for you and one for me then make a loop-de-loop -loop around the ring which will be the second loop-de-loop -loop of this ring thread it through the crimp or crimps for you then it should be something like this with two loops and two crimps then thread it through the final row to just fasten down our the end of our tiger tail now it's really good to have excess like I do right here thread it through the and then make sure that your tiger tail does go through the crimp bead very important and also don't forget to put on this crimp bead after you do that you can thread your tiger tail through a few more beads and then fasten down your crimp bead at this so I'm going ahead and crimping this down and crimping all my bead, all my crimping beads. Then I'm gonna take the final excess, cut it off until it's nice and short, and tuck it through. Ta-da! So now you should have it like this. All one long line of beads from ring to ring. At this point I'm going to take my black elastic and sew it through the rings. So I'll just grab it and loop it round like so. Then I'm going to sew it down here. More than three ones by the way, that's just an indication. So when you're done both sides, you should have a beautiful thing like this, which you can now wear and look very beautiful. So here's an example on my head. La 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 la. So this, my friends, was a Kardaka creation by Jess. Polymer clay, blue cane, bullseye headband tutorial. Thanks for watching and... A Happy New Year to you!